Royal well, family, today on Password Kings, we're going over the most popular hotels in the Bahamas called the Atlantis and how it compares to other hotels. In game. <laughs> My name is Rock Land. I'm a travel advisor. I make Passport Kings travel videos to inform, review, and excite you about vacation destinations and other travel related information. If this is a topic you like, consider subscribing to Passport Kings and ring the bell so you can be the first in the know when I upload new content. Atlantis in the Bahamas is one of the most unforgettable places in the world. The Bahamas hotel called Paradise Island is mostly experienced for only a couple of hours by people who are arriving on cruise ships. To fully enjoy the well sought after hotel in the Caribbean, I suggest flying in by plane. Spend a few days because this is one of the most iconic hotels in the Caribbean. And that way you won't be in a rush to get back to the cruise and you will have enough time to see the range and accommodations, spectacular events, and an array of other activities. So here are a few reasons why so many people visit this Bahamas hotel each year. Atlantis is home to 21 restaurants, 19 bars and lounges, 11 swimming pools, a 20 million gallon water park, and an 18 hole golf course. It's also home to one of the largest casinos in the Caribbean. Atlantis is a lot more than just a hotel in the Bahamas. It has world class accommodations. The resort is split into six accommodations. Premium amenities at the Royal at Atlantis, contemporary spaces at the Corral at Atlantis, value priced amenities at the Beach at Atlantis, ocean view suites at the Cove at Atlantis, residential style accommodations at the Reef at Atlantis, and harborside resorts at Atlantis. But no matter which choice you make, Atlantis is surely gonna be an unforgettable experience. All of the different locations are available on the official Passport Kings booking engine. I'm putting a link to it at the bottom but you can also go to PassportKings.com and click on book a trip. Booking with me will give me the commission instead of you giving the commission to Barry Diller. This Bahamas hotel is surrounded by pristine turquoise waters. You'll be compelled to just dive in. Atlantis Paradise is situated on the famed beaches of the Bahamas, and that makes it easy to enjoy the warm waters. The most famous part of the splash at Atlantis is the Aqua Venture. As seen in many travel shows like The Amazing Race, you can slide down into the abyss and through the Shark Lagoon. But for those people who don't desire the excitement of sliding down the side of a Mayan structure through a tunnel, you can lounge at the Lazy River, ride along the rapids of the current, or simply relax by one of the 11 swimming pools. This is a one-of-a-kind water park in the Bahamas. You can even hide from the kids you birthed by hiding out in the Cove Pool, which is an adult-only swimming section with cabanas, a restaurant, and outdoor gaming. But you don't have to avoid your kids for the entire time to have a great time. This Bahamas hotel is 100% family friendly. The thrill of getting up close and personal with the range of marine life is fun for the whole family. Atlantis has one of the world's largest open air marine habitats. Even better, everyone in your family is gonna talk for their whole lives about when they swim with the dolphins at Dolphin K. But that's not the only exotic fish you can get close to. You all could walk with sharks at the Mayan Temple Shark Habitat or take the Atlantis Stingray experience. This is as close to underwater deep sea diving that you can actually do with without actually deep sea diving. Although those excursions are also available for purchase. I'm not a golf fiend, but this location is recognized as one of the top 10 resort courses in North America and the Caribbean by Golf Digest Magazine. One of the best parts about being in the Bahamas is the opportunity to meet the local Bahamian people. A lot of them are selling their goods because hey, we are tourists. But if you sit down and have a chat with one of them, you'll realize they're not really hurting for anything on this island. They may not be the richest country in the world, but in the Caribbean, they are pretty well off. One of the shop owners told me that they do have to order a big shipment of goods from the Walmarts in America a couple of times a month to get a lot of their basic goods for cheap. But the system works. Meeting the locals and chatting is the highlight of any vacation for me. It's such a sacred thing that I don't want to ruin it by putting a camera up in their faces and taking away the authentic experience of our conversations. I do know that those interactions would make a more evolved, 
travel video. And trust me, royal family, I am working myself up to it. I want to tell you what my family was most thrilled about, but make sure you watch to the end of this video so you can download my free ebook about how to make money in the travel industry. And if you haven't yet, press subscribe and hit the notification bell. My family loves to shop and buy what I jokingly call junk. Atlantis is home of dozens of shops. You can get local handmade gifts and genuine Havana cigars. Americans used to always have a hard time getting our hands on Cuban cigars, and going down to the islands was one of the only ways for a long time. A word of warning though, it is very hard to tell who is selling the authentic joints from Cuba or who's selling bootleg blunts. So if you can, get them from a reputable source, perhaps duty free at the airport or someone with a great reputation on the island. But yeah, that's still hard to tell. The other shops are the typical ones you see in all other tourist attraction areas, including the markups. So make sure your family budgets their allowance so they don't come asking you for a refill. What's also dope is you can work out at the Atlantis Top of the Line Fitness Center. The facilities offer strength training equipment and cardio machines, a Pilates and yoga studio, a lap pool, tennis courts, and personal training. Then treat yourself to one of the signature treatments, rejuvenating therapies, or pampering services at Mandara Spa. Now that that crap is out of the way, let's talk about what's most important, the food. The worst part about being a travel head is trying to stay fit. If I'm on my latest diet, or being a vegan again, I always fall off by visiting a place like the Bahamas. Food in the Bahamas is an experience all to itself. From the fancy restaurants, to the guys on fishing boats preparing seafood meals, from what they literally just caught. Also, you can try the famed Nobu restaurant. A lot of celebrities eat here, so if your kids love to name drop when talking about the adventures they had with you, eating a few tables over from one of the celebs is definitely something they would want to go live on Instagram to talk about. When your kids are finished eating, they can test their driving skills at Atlantis Speedway, get creative at the Earth and Fire Pottery Studios, explore marine life, with the Sea Squirts or Junior Ultimate Trainer for a day program, and then let loose at the Tween and Teen Club Crush. The Atlantis Kids Adventure Club has cooking lessons, interactive electronic art, theater, outdoor play, and more. But after you drop them off for the night, that's when it really gets lit. Am I too old to say it gets lit? There is a variety of bars and lounges at Paradise Island. Aura Nightclub, Joker's Wild Comedy Club, and the Atlantis Theater are great places to drink and enjoy the nightlife. This is also the home for the Battle for Atlantis College Basketball Tournament and world-class musical performances. Atlantis Paradise Island also offers day passes to the most popular attractions. And before I tell you about that, I want to tell you that my team and I would love to meet you in Atlanta because we want to properly introduce you to Panic Marketing. Actually, this week Atlanta won't work because um, it has been canceled because of all of the quarantines that's going on because of that. So the Planet Marketing business opportunity this week will be virtual at 7 p.m. Contact me on Facebook for the info, and I'm at facebook.com slash passportrock. I'd love to let you know what's going on in the industry of travel. But like I was saying, flying into the Bahamas is not the most popular way to get here. I just feel like it could be the perfect solution for a low-cost vacation that so many of my clients have asked me about. If you are arriving to the Bahamas by cruise ship, you can check out the beaches, pools, and activities of multiple Nassau Paradise Island hotels and resorts during your vacation by using day passes. Day passes are perfect for people who are just cruising to Nassau Bahamas and will only be here for a few hours. Paradise Island day passes make it easy to explore the best hotel in the Bahamas and add a little extra excitement and adventure to your vacation in paradise. Your options will be vast. You can head downtown, Nassau and experience the glamour of the British Colonial Hilton or the luxury Great Cliff Hotel. Just don't forget to discover the Atlantis Tour, Aquaventure Waterscape and some of the Bahamas best beaches. Some day passes are all inclusive and cover unlimited food beverages and activities but if you're coming in on a cruise ship you'll probably already be stuffed but also you can get beverage credit so have you ever been to nassau by plane or by cruise type year man in the comment section below and tell me all about it i love reading and responding to you in the comments links to my free book make money online so you can travel more can be found at www.passportkings.com and all you have to do is join my mailing list and you'll get it for free but we know taking a cruise to the Bahamas may be the most convenient way to get to the Bahamas. So I'm attaching a very big 
cruise playlist to the end credits of this video. That way you'll be able to navigate your most exciting way to the Bahamas by cruise. I'll also attach to the end screen a video about how to get the cheapest airline tickets for last minute flights. So when you do get to the Bahamas, you'll know you paid the lowest price like a king of passport king. Peace.